Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial where I'm going to teach you how to have a store. For instance, now on the right, as you see, I have 700 coins and I'm going to spend 100 coins to buy 16 eggs. Okay, so here I have the 16 eggs and now I'm going to show you how to do this with any item. First of all, we need to have a scoreboard, okay? The method to create a scoreboard is with this command. It would be slash scoreboard objectives add money, okay? Let's do it. Slash scoreboard. Now we put objectives, we put add because we're creating, and basically we have to input the name we want. Suppose we want to call it coin, alright? We put dummy and we put coin again, okay? So we'll make it, and in this way we'll have our objective, okay? In my case, as you see, I have it there on the right, okay? It's named money. Then, on the other hand, to have it displayed on our right, as in my case, we'll do slash slash scoreboard objective set display sidebar. And now indeed, we will put the name of the variable we have created with all the capital letters and everything, okay? So, once we have all of this created, first of all, we should give ourselves some coins. Thus, for that would be slash scoreboards players we're going to add. We select the player we want to give to, such as ourselves, and we're going to put money and the amount of coins we want. Let's add a thousand coins, as you can see. Now I have a thousand extra coins, okay? So, anyway, how can we make the store? First, we have to do these commands, and to put the commands, we have to input them in this order, okay? As we're seeing, so the command blocks point there, all right? As you can see, they're all pointing. Not bad. So then, on the other hand, the first command block is going to be of the impulse type, unconditional, and needs redstone. All the others, all those that are in chain format, they'll need to be in conditional format and always active, all right? All these last four do the same thing. So then, okay, the first tester will have this command, which is going to be scoreboard players test. P will be the closest player if the variable money, which is the variable we just created, reaches 100. Basically, what it's doing is checking if we have 100 coins, all right? The player that presses the button if they have a hundred coins. So if they have a hundred coins, the chain is going to continue and execute. Then we have the remover, okay. What it's going to do is this command, scoreboard players remove, which is essentially going to eliminate 100 coins from the closest player, all right? I believe it's pretty simple to comprehend. Then on the other hand, what we have is basically a slash a gif, okay? What it does is slash gif at P to the nearest player, 16 eggs, okay? Say 16. If we wanted to put something else, like diamonds, then we would put diamond and put the number of diamonds we want to give it, okay? In the same way that if we didn't want to spend 100 coins and we wanted to spend one, then we can do it too. Then what we'll put in is going to be a sound effect, which is going to be slash place sound random dot orb at P, okay? This way, a sound effect will play when the purchase is made, adding more dynamism. And finally, a whisper that notifies the nearest player that 100 coins have just been taken from them, okay? After all this, as you can see, if I now press the button, the chat fills up with lots of things, okay? So how can we avoid being filled with so many things? We do slash game rule and you put commands, block outputs, and basically you put false, okay? You put in this command and now when you press it, we're just going to receive, well, they're just going to tell us what we've received, okay? The 16 eggs and they're going to tell us minus 100 coins, okay? So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and see you in future videos. Bye bye.